the Think Marketing Show, the number one podcast for growing and scaling your business with online video. I'm Heather Torres. And I'm Sean Cannell, and we're from Think Media. And if this is your first time listening, welcome. This show is dedicated to helping you learn how to get your content noticed and the latest money-making strategies working right now online. So whether you want to grow your YouTube channel or maximize online video across social media, this is for you. How do you make money with a small channel? I'm excited about this because I have a small channel. Mine's only at almost 15,000 subscribers. And we have a lot of people who look at you with 1.5 million subscribers, having a seven figure media company, all these big things, but everything starts small. Yeah. So talk about how do you make money with a small channel? Well, first of all, I actually think that even your channel, I wouldn't consider small. I mean, 15,000 is insane, you know, and you've already made quite a bit of money yeah. off of your channel. And so, you know, I think that the question would be what's small, maybe hard to say, maybe your first a thousand, your first 5,000 or up to 10,000 subscribers. I think about friends of mine that were able to go full time around 10,000 subscribers. I was able to go full time at around 20,000 subscribers. I went all in on Think Media at 16,000, full time at 20. So what are the strategies? Well, the first thing, and I know that this is gonna be one of those like, okay, come on, man. Like, But the first thing is actually like not to focus on making money at all first, but to focus on influence first. You know, our phrase over at, at Video Influencers is helping you build your influence, income, and impact. And we say it in that order because it actually is a progression that you can't make income if you don't have influence. And you can't make a difference and an impact if you don't have influence or income, in our opinion. Because if you can't keep the lights on or if you're starving yourself, then how are you going to ultimately impact others? You need money to fuel the mission. So it all starts with influence. And the reason I say that is the first thing I would say to make money on a small channel is find another way to make money. Like too many people, I think they maybe start with desperation, which is the worst way to start anything. If you start in a desperate place on YouTube, you'll make bad decisions. You might try to make quick money with affiliate marketing. We'll talk about that in a second. And it could be good, but too early. And it's maybe coming from the wrong place. You might try to use gimmicks and you might try to use clickbait as opposed to saying, you know what, I'm going to identify another way to make money so that I can even fund my YouTube channel in its infancy stage. In my case, I actually started my channel Clear Vision Media for my company back in 2009 and I had a freelance video production company and then I started Think Media in 2010. So in 2009, I used my cameras and my lighting and all these things that I actually got from taking a loan out and the way I was paying the loan down was from waiting tables at Red Robin. And I thought, if I can't make money in my business, I can at least just make extra tips on the weekends and eventually pay this thing down. I took out a $7,000 loan to get the gear. And I realized that I was going to pay the bills via doing freelance video work, building websites, doing YouTube optimization, and then use YouTube to do YouTube and affiliate marketing, reviewing cameras with really no timeline of when I needed that to succeed. I think that's a good recipe. Another way is like work at some other job, you know, freelance online, whether that's doing virtual assistant work or doing graphic design or using any skill, doing a call center or just doing anything. So that way you can invest in your YouTube channel without needing to like make a demand on your audience too soon. Yeah, I think that's really, really important. I found that with even my homeschool channel, I work for Think Media. And so I have zero pressure on that end to fund that mission, but it is a mission. Like it's it's close to my heart, but I don't have the time to make courses yet. I don't have the time to develop out the curriculum that I want to. I don't have that time yet. So one of the things you introduced to me was this idea of affiliate marketing. And I know that's how you went full time. So let's talk about what it is and how you can apply that to your YouTube channel as a small channel to start making money. Yeah, you know, that also, affiliate marketing requires a little bit of influence because we talk about affiliate marketing, we recommend signing up for the Amazon Associates program because Amazon is the everything store and pretty much everything is there. When you sign up and you get a custom link, now when someone clicks your link and buys something, you'll make between four and 10% off that sale. And this is a way that initially I was able to quit my day job and go full-time on YouTube was just through Amazon and YouTube and talking about tech and cameras on my channel, Think Media. However, early on people go, that sounds awesome. So they try to apply for the Amazon associate program. They have one or two videos up. They only have 
33 subscribers. Or maybe they even have 3,000 subscribers. The average video gets around 350 views, but you don't have a ton of momentum yet, a ton of influence yet. And so what people do is they apply for an affiliate program. They either don't get approved or they get approved, but they don't make enough sales within enough amount of time. So then their account gets shut down. It goes back to needing influence first, needing to kind of hit a tipping point of growth, a tipping point of kind of breaking through with your content. And so once you hit, what I'd probably recommend is that you probably want at least 10 to 20 videos. And it would be ideal to probably have at least 500 to 1,000 subscribers around there in with some level of consistency, not a thousand to 5,000 subscribers, let's say that you built over five years and they just slowly grew on there. But just like you did, you, you started knowing you were going to do homeschool. You started with homeschool topic videos. You started to build momentum. Of course, also ranking videos, answering specific questions, being mm-hmm. a video ranking Academy student, just doing that like to the T and it really worked because mm-hmm. your channel's growing on autopilot, even if you didn't upload a lot of videos. And then it was no friction for you to get uh, approved for the Amazon affiliate program, to work with other affiliate programs through curriculum companies. So yeah, affiliate marketing is what I would recommend. And notice, we didn't say YouTube ads in any other way. I think affiliate marketing is the best way to start making money as a small channel because you don't need a brand to select you for a brand deal or waste your time emailing brands when you're super small and it's just a ton of work. You can, as soon as you get approved for that program, you can start making money based on your results. Mm -hmm. If you can figure out just, and all you need is one video to really change your life. We'd mentioned the greens powder video where I have a green juice powder that I mix up. That video has earned over $10,000. It's one video in one niche around one keyword that blew up like that. I've got this video called best Christmas LED lights. One video, that video has generated over $10,000 and every year it generates more. One video around one keyword in one niche I didn't get the brand to work with me. I didn't get free product sent to me. I actually purchased the product myself or actually I was, I got to borrow it from a friend, but I hustled to get it. Like I didn't have to talk to anybody else. I was empowered myself to use affiliate marketing. And I know maybe this is some new terms to some people. So we actually have a playlist over on think media, our affiliate marketing series, we go deep. And so Mm -hmm. people could learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing as I think the best way to make money with a small channel when you're getting started. Yeah, and a a lot of times one of the mistakes we see is that people will just put links down below and there's no reference point to it. So talk about how you were able to go full time with affiliate marketing because of the connection or tell us a little bit more about that. I think, yeah, and we actually teach that in a a program, maybe we'll just link to it because it's a a baby course that we have called Video Product Review Profits. And we'll just put a link to that in the description below. Um, And I talk about, I think, five unique things you need to know about making money with affiliate marketing through product reviews. That's where people make a mistake. They just have like a vlogging channel and they think I'm going to vlog. I'll link up to the camera I use in the description. And then some people will click that. I'll make money. No, because the intent in watching your entertaining vlog is not to then check out the description for things to like buy. And they're not looking for a camera. Conversely, if you do a video called blend tech versus nin- ninja blenders, which one is better? The person who's watching a video like that probably wants to buy a blender at the end of that viewing session. Mm -hmm. So what I mean is, and what we teach in that program is being congruent through the whole process, really thinking through what is the online consumer, the online shopper, which by the way, that's why I love affiliate marketing. Uh, E-commerce is only around 15% going into 2020 in this next decade. Like that means that I mean, again, only 15 out of 100 people are shopping online. Most people are still shopping offline. Well, that's going to continue to grow. More people are going to keep shopping online. That is more opportunity for us to do product reviews, to cover products we love and use and do product tutorials to make a lot of money through affiliate marketing. So when, what's the intent of the consumer who comes online? What are they searching for? And then when they watch the video, what kind of information do they want to learn? And then what do they need to know about doing next, helping them make that next decision to click on that link. And then even thinking past that click to the fact that you say this product's amazing, but then they get to the page and the page is not super optimized or there's horrible, you say it's amazing, but there's horrible reviews on Amazon. No one's going to buy that because you also then your credibility is lost in that. So you're thinking through a whole, what we would call like a customer journey 
which is a whole different approach than most people when it comes to affiliate marketing. They just kind of lob it out there, hope to get some clicks, hope to get some sales. And I've learned that, you know, just hope marketing doesn't work. Yeah. You have to do strategic marketing. And if, again, we'll link to some resources if people are interested. In celebration of the launch of this brand new podcast, we're giving away two tickets to our annual conference, Grow With Video Live, a $1,500 value. All you have to do to enter is make sure you subscribe, leave us a review on Apple Podcast, and then take a screenshot of your review and go to thinkmarketingshow.com for the rest of the details. Yeah, okay, so build influence first, start with affiliate marketing, and then our third point is to sell something. Yes, uh, you know, like we didn't even mention YouTube ads. <laughs> yeah. And you know, what's cool about YouTube is that if you get approved for monetization after 1,000 subscribers, 400 hours, 4,000 hours of watch time within 12 months period, now you can monetize your videos. Sometimes people get so myopic, so focused on just that way of making money, and it's a losing recipe. Because what I've learned is even if you start getting, you know, 500,000 views a month, depending on your CPM, that might only be like, let's say, a couple hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And again, you could make a couple hundred dollars somewhere else. Like build your, YouTube, go drive Uber or Lyft during, you know, for a few hours every day, make that money and then focus on growing your YouTube channel to build something more significant. And what that thing that's more significant could be is selling something. Mm -hmm. Thinking about, can you create a digital product? We talk a lot about this. One of the reasons why we started Think Marketing, because the e-learning industry, people that are now wanting to learn online and the traditional forms of education are really being flipped upside down, is gonna be, Forbes did an article, by 2025, it's gonna be almost a billion dollar a day industry. Like 330 or so billion a year. That means a billion dollars a day, people are gonna be buying e-learning materials. Yes, through e-learning through colleges and universities, but also through the stuff we create. We have digital courses. We have all these students like in our inner circle program that have digital courses and all these different people that are um, packaging their expertise, their knowledge, or just how to do something or how to learn something or, or, or packaging digital communities, these really cool things. And so that's something you could sell, but you could also sell uh, all kinds of things. I mean, we have, I guess this is e-learning too, but McCain Dogs mm -hmm. has a physical brick and mortar dog training studio up in Canada. And they also have an online course for how to train your dog. Um, we have other people in our community, some people that are like doing kind of cocktail stuff. And what they do is they'll sell the shakers and they'll share the si sell the uh, sifters. Kent, who just came to our mastermind in Las Vegas, Cowboy Kent. Cowboy Kent. Um, man, he's got skillets yeah. and he's got, you know, spatulas that he sells. So he does cooking videos, crushing with AdSense because he's really grown his channel, but he's also making money through events. Mm -hmm. He's making money through physical products. So what, the reason we skip past ads is you want to think of YouTube not actually as your business, probably the worst mindset you could ever have. It's just a distribution channel, right? You want to think bigger than YouTube, use YouTube to make your living. Don't make YouTube your living. AdSense can go up and down. It could disappear tomorrow. But if you have a real business, I sell physical products. I sell skillets and cooking materials and I have got cooking classes and cooking retreats. Well, you've got a real business. And then if YouTube changes, well, you can move to the next platform. Like you could go somewhere else. But so what is that bigger business you're building? What is that something else you're selling? There's a lot of opportunities and I'm excited to talk about that in future Think Marketing Show episodes. Yes. The Think Marketing Show. That was amazing. So build your influence, affiliate marketing, and then sell something. What incredible tips for uh, having a small channel. And I think, again, even if you have a small channel, you can start applying these things, but it is the long game, right? It, it isn't, you know, let's get to our first 100, 10,000, 100,000. It's the long game of building something that's sustainable online. So thanks for those tips, Sean. Thanks for checking out this episode. We hope you got a ton of value. And if you haven't already, subscribe here to the Think Marketing Show, wherever you're watching or listening. And hey, it would mean the world to us if you would rate and review this show on Apple Podcast. As we grow this movement of purpose-driven content creators, we encourage you to share it with a friend and we'll see you in the next episode.